All right, thanks for watching this online demonstration of James Hardy matrix cladding. Designing and building a contemporary home that can handle any kind of weather is all about the preparation and the detail. So let's see how we do it. To start off, you'll need matrix cladding sheet, cavity trim, sized correctly. Backing strip available in 1190, 2390 or 2990 long. James Hardy joint sealant, Hardy wrap weather barrier, 18 millimeter PVC cavity vent strip, which comes in three meter length. Fasteners for the cavity trim are timber frames, 65 by 2.8 millimeter ring shank nail. For steel frames, 0.55 to 0.75. Use Build-X fiber zips, 30 mil long. For steel frames, 0.8 to 1.6 BMT. Use a 40 mil hardy drive screw. Fasteners for the matrix panels. Use the 25 mil 16 gauge or 25 DA 304 stainless steel brad nails up to N3 wind classification. You can also use 25mm wafer, pan or hex head. Hardy blade saw blade or comparable fibre cement blade. Vacuum extraction with filter appropriate for capturing fine respirable dust. Nail gun for timber frames. Basic carpentry tools. And your PPE. Okay guys, most importantly safety first. Always wear your standard PPE. A P1 or P2 mask. A dust extraction on your saw and always cut outside, never cut indoors, and just let everyone in the area know you're cutting, and there will be dust. For more details, check out the James Hardy Safety Data Sheet. Okay, let's get going. But before we put the cladding on, we've got some prep work to do. Make sure you put your Hardy Wrap barrier on before you do any cladding. It's really important that you check your flashings, your tape, your sarking, your wrap, and your stud set outs before we start putting these boards on. It's important to think about how you want to install the panels, as it's going to affect the finished look. When installing on stud, the vertical panel joints are located centrally over the cavity trim. It's important the stud layout matches the vertical joint locations. When installing the cavity trim off stud, you need to make sure the noggin spacings are no greater than 800 millimeters, providing your noggins are flush with the external of your frame. Okay guys, so spend some time marking out where your board joints are gonna go. In this situation, I've chosen the centre of the window for my first join. Make sure you plan your set out of every express joint of every matrix board before you put your cavity trim on so you know where each one will go. Internal and external corners have additional framing requirements as well as your internal and external flashings. Once they're on, you put your battens on and then you can choose what external corner you want to use. Make sure you've got the right fasteners, and that will depend if you've got timber or steel frames, and also your proximity to the ocean. Now I'm going to break down the installation process into six easy steps. Okay guys, step one, install the PVC vent strip according to the datum lines you've set up already. Okay, step two is install the cavity trim with a spirit level. Just make sure all your buttons get nailed on plumb and just a little tip here when fixing off your cavity trim a little tip is to stagger your nails so you're not nailing through the center otherwise you're going to see those nails once the panels go on do not install the cavity trim horizontally they always go vertically to get your horizontal express joint you use the James Hardy backing strip okay so we're up to step three now we're going to glue the backing strip to the panel. Make sure you install the glossy side in facing the building and the matte side facing out. Okay, step four, apply the James Hardy joint sealant to the battens, making sure where there's a join, you apply it to each side. Okay, so step five, put the boards up, make sure you've got a 10 mil gap between your boards. This is a really important join. Make sure you don't skip this step because it allows the moisture to drain through this vertical gap. Okay, when fixing the board on top of a window, make sure you allow a six mil gap. Pencil's a good little six mil gap. So make sure you keep checking as you're putting the boards on with the spirit level to make sure all your boards are lining up nice. 
Okay, so step six, put your next panel on, apply your James Hardy joint sealant to your backing strip and your cavity battens, fix it all off, and keep that 10 mil gap the whole way through the job. Keep repeating the process to get that modern contemporary look. Thanks for watching this online demonstration of James Hardy Matrix Cladding. Check out the James Hardy Matrix Technical Manual for more information.